Welcome to Purpose. I'm your host, Corey Clark. I'm just a normal girl who decided to go for it. I created a thriving business from the ground up without sacrificing my sanity, and I believe that you can do the same. You were created on purpose, for a purpose, and I fully believe you can turn that purpose into profit. Each week, I'm going to bring you practical advice to help you live your life and grow your business on purpose. Well, hello, friends. This is my very first episode of my very first podcast, and I'm so excited to be sharing this, sharing a piece of me, and sharing my message and my heart with you. So I've been wanting to do this for a really long time, and I just kept putting it off for one reason or another. I'm too busy too much going on, I don't like my voice, I don't have anything to say, just all these silly lies I was telling myself. And um, I finally decided in like November, I'm doing this. And in December, I recorded my first episode. And I hated it. I was like, this is ridiculous. This is boring. These people don't want to just sit and listen to me talk about my life. And so I was like, scratch that. And then it was the holidays and then I got sick. And there's just seriously been one reason after another, like there always is, right? And I thought, you know what? Like, I have to do this. This is something I want to do. This is something that God put on my heart to do. And it really is honestly like the easiest way for me to share with you guys, to serve you, to help you. And Um, I, you know, I'm really not into the whole blogging thing and I do have a blog and I still blog, but I feel like this is just such an easier way for me to serve my audience, to bring you guys inspiration, to bring you truth, to bring you motivation, just to help you live more purposefully, help you grow your business and bring in more profit, which that's what we all want, right? Because more money equals more impact. So the more impact I can bring to you, the more impact you can create in your world. So anyways, enough's enough. I'm here. This is episode one. And my motivation behind this first episode is something that I think has helped me in the last four or five years of my business. And it's actually inspired by a quote from my friend, John Acuff. So any of you who've been following me for a while know that he he played a big part in where I am today. But I was reading his book, Quitter, probably about five or so years ago, and I read this line in his book that seriously changed my life. And it says, 90% perfect and shared with the world always changes more lives than 100% perfect and stuck in your head. And I was like, oh my gosh, like this is so me because everything I want to do, I'm so scared to put it out in the world until it's like perfect. And what that quote taught me was to just put my work out there and figure it out as I go. Now, I'm not like saying I just throw up like a messy blog post or anything like that. Um, my planner, my book, I still put work into it. I put effort into it. But so many times we can get held up by the little details, you know, wanting the perfect picture or the perfect font or the perfect message. And sometimes it doesn't need to be perfect. So when you can settle for 90% perfect, where you know you're putting your best work out there and instead of wasting hours and hours and hours trying to make something perfect, You just go ahead and release it to the world because that's going to bless more people than this idea or this book or this new product that's just an idea in your head. If it's just in your head, waiting for it to become perfect, it's never going to help anybody. And so that quote, I seriously, that is what I based pretty much everything else I do on. So when I wrote my book, of course I wanted it to be better. I want like... I wanted to write more. I wanted there to be more content. I wanted, you know, better, I don't know. I wanted more chapters. I wanted more freebies. I just wanted so much more for it because I saw all these things that authors who had been, 
you know, in the game forever. I saw all these amazing things they were doing and they had launch teams and they had launch parties and, you know, they have so much going. And But if I was waiting for that, I would never have written the book, which means I wouldn't even be sitting here doing this podcast because putting the book out there meant I was helping people. And those people were having conversations with me and saying, hey, like, can you – you know, make a planner that implements these things. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know how to make a planner. But if I waited till it was the perfect planner, it never would have come out. I never would have made the purposeful planner. And it was not perfect by any means. And it's still not. But every time I create a new edition, I'm improving on it and changing the way I do things and making it better and better. So anyways, my point is, is Stop letting perfectionism keep you from serving the world around you. If you have an idea, if you have a message to share, share it. We have so much access to amazing things like social media and you can have a blog and, you know, you can create products. You can sell them on Etsy or Shopify or eBay or whatever and you can help people. If you have something that you can help someone with and you're just keeping that idea stuck in your head, it's actually selfish. And so that's kind of where I got this week. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get this podcast out there because my ultimate goal is to help you. And I don't want to just inspire you. I want to inspire you to take action because inspiration is like only inspiration at the end of the day. If you're not actually inspiring someone to take action, to move forward, to step into their calling, to take a step towards their future or their dream, then it's really just words, empty words. So My goal is to inspire you to take action and to take imperfect action, like my friend John Acuff said. If you have something in your heart or in your mind that you're wanting to do, I dare you to put it out there and just see what happens. I had no clue that writing that book on my journey of simplifying our life would lead to a planner, would lead to you know, a VIP membership group would lead to courses and this podcast. There's just so many amazing things that have come from it. And if I had kept it in my mind, waiting for the perfect opportunity or the perfect words, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you today. So if there's something that you are wanting to do and you're just afraid and you're just trying to get it perfect, I really want to challenge you to put it out in the world. I want you to tell me what it is. DM me on Instagram and tell me what it is that you're going to put out there because you're going to let go of perfectionism. You're going to be a 90% perfect mom instead of a 100% perfect one because you can just show up and be present at 90%. You're going to be a 90% perfect business owner because at least you're being a business owner instead of waiting for the perfect moment or the perfect idea or the perfect person to collaborate with. Just start being who you're supposed to be and don't worry about that perfect person that you have put that image of in your head. So I hope that this inspires you. I hope it challenges you to just start putting your work out into the world, putting your ideas out into the world. And please, please, please share with me, DM me on Instagram. That's kind of where I'm always hanging out. And I would love to know your story. I would love to know what it is that you've been holding inside for some reason or another, and you're just going to put it out there now. If you're ready to let go of perfectionism and get started on your business or take it to the next level, I'm opening the doors to my VIP lounge for a limited time. This is the only time they'll be open for all of 2019. So go to coreyclark.com slash VIP to learn more. And I'm also going to have all of these details from this episode, um, a listener giveaway I'm doing, and the VIP lounge in my show notes. So um, the show notes, you'll always be able to find those based on the episode number. Since this is episode one, it'll be at coreyclark.com slash one. Thanks so much, guys, and I will see you on the next episode.